Did you know that your choices can affect the lives of trillions of organisms? That's a lot of responsibility. But don't worry, because they're here to give you a helping hand. Think of your body as an empire. The brain acts as a ruler, overseeing its subjects which include the microbiome, the population of bacteria, viruses, protists, and fungi which live in and on our bodies and perform a variety of tasks to help it function. The immune system acts as an army, protecting the empire and its people from hostile invaders. Your microbes assist the immune system by passing messages in the form of chemical compounds. Polysaccharide A, produced by a bacteria called B. fragilis, alerts the immune system by activating cells called macrophages, which release compounds to boost the immune response. At the same time, it can reduce inflammation by binding to regulatory T cells, which act as a captain, directing the immune system's activity and preventing your body from attacking itself. The empire's bustling metropolis is located in the gut, where the vast majority of your microbes live. Its inhabitants communicate with your brain through chemical signals or by influencing the activity of the cells in your body. This is the gut-brain axis. When the citizens are content, there is peace and prosperity in the empire. A thriving microbiome means good health for the host. However, your microbes are also looking out for themselves. They can produce toxins when they don't receive enough nutrients and cause illness. Since different microbes need different nutrients, they use chemical signals to influence your preferences and tell you what to eat. Well-fed microbes can stimulate the production of serotonin, which promotes gut bacterial growth and acts as a neurotransmitter to make you feel well and encourage you to consume more of the food which your microbes need. If you eat too much junk food, your fat living microbes will multiply, making you crave more greasy foods. They would also outcompete other microbes, which will gradually disappear. An imbalance of the microbiome known as dysbiosis can cause illnesses since your body loses its essential microbial workers. However, there are ways to restore order in the microbiome. One way is to provide resources to certain types of microbes to support their growth. This can be done by eating a balanced diet full of prebiotics, compounds which promote the growth of beneficial microbes. You can also recruit the aid of foreign workers using probiotics, which introduce live microorganisms to your gut to boost its function. These supplements are collectively known as psychobiotics due to their ability to affect the nervous system through the gut-brain axis. The gut microbiome is also a promising treatment for neurological disorders due to its interactions with the brain. In order for the empire's government to function properly, capable officials must be carefully chosen. In the brain, the selection is done by strengthening important connections between brain cells and eliminating unnecessary ones. These connections are the couriers responsible for passing information between your brain and body. By stimulating the production of compounds which guide the growth of brain cells, short-chain fatty acids, known as SCFA for short, produced by your microbes can promote proper brain development. In mice, SCFAs could relieve symptoms of Alzheimer's by repairing brain damage. Given the role of the microbiome in health, it's important to listen to your gut. Take care of your microbes, and they'll take care of you too.